hello again ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel this is cold all good here aka the suburban ginger and we are about to start taking the next step on the road to the pga tour this is the golf club 2019 featuring the pga tour and we're going to continue our career when we last left the suburban ginger he had just notched his first victory on the web.com tour and he's getting ready to start the next week's tournament at the TPC at Boston. It is the East Coast Classic. Before we tee off guys make sure you leave a thumbs up, show me your love by leaving the likes. If you like the video post your comments down below and above all else do subscribe to the channel if you like golf gaming action and a whole lot of other things. Unboxing videos, live course vlogs, tournament reviews, product reviews. We got a little bit of everything here at Colt All Good Golf, but we're going to dive right into the East Coast Classic. TPC Boston looking very lush up there in New England. The uh, fairways and greens are firm, and the greens are fast. We got a little bit of a uh, light breeze out of the southeast. The Suburban Ginger's ready to rock, get off to a fast start, maybe make it two for two on the web.com tour. Let's see what happens. Hello everyone, I'm Luke Elvey and welcome to our coverage of the first round of the East Coast Classic. My partner in crime today is John McCarthy. Hi Luke, glad to be here. What's happening? Looking forward to today, there should be some spectacular golf out on the course. Let's hope the players have brought their A-games. Thanks Luke, we'll talk soon. Alright, a little bit of wind in the face here on the first tee. But it is a short par four, all good going with less than driver. And let's see how he starts. Yeah, I think this one's gonna find the fairway. Yeah, pretty confident swing there from all good. Looking to pick up where he left off last week. Pin up front, a little bit of a false front on this green here. See what he does. He's got a nine iron. Try to pitch it up there and get it to stop close to the hole. Go right over top of that false front and get it to stay, and it just does hang on. 12 feet to go here. Twelve footer for birdie. came out sideways Ooh, and it just misses and for the par and starting the round off with a par not bad yeah pretty low stress there off and running Michael Glickich of course leading the pack again three shot lead currently through 11 holes he's five under today off to a very very good start and now let's see what the second hole has in store second holes dog leg right par five all good going with driver looking to clear those bunkers on the right hand side it appears to be heading for the fairway here He's trying to put himself in a good position to go for the green in two. And that's right down the middle. Very well done. And about 190 yards to the pin. Very much in the go zone for him. Pin over to the left, kind of sitting in a little saddle in the green. Hard to get directly at the pin. But I think he would take a two-putt birdie at this point in the, uh, in the match. In the, in the tournament, I should say. He has four iron in hand. Going with the four iron here. Could have put a bit too much club on this one. Getting a little bit of help off the backstop there. But it's going to be a very tricky eagle putt. And that's a pretty inspiring shot just there, hitting this par five green in two definite eagle possibilities. Well, John, I think he's just gonna kinda cozy this one on down there and take his birdie. 27 footer. Oh, 
Oh my gracious, that was close. I think he's happy with that for a lag. And this one's for Birdie. Just to get into red figures. Well done. Nice little putt. Currently sitting at one under for the day. All right, with that, all good moves up to a tie for third with a whole host of players, including Ryan Bream, Robbie Shelton, Chad Campbell, Rain Gibson, Scott Kaczewski, Dan McCarthy, and Brett Stegmeyer. And now setting up on the par three. Number three is a, a par three, 185 yards, pin in the center, right over that large front bunker. And all good going with a five iron here. Well, it looks like a uh, five iron. Put it on a good line. Very nice shot. I think he'll be happy with that. And 14 feet. This is 14 footer here for Birdie. Moving a little bit to his right all the way. Oh, and just missing. Just on the low side. That's about a few feet from the cup. Clean up here for his par. And he does so. Finishing this hole with a solid putt. And after that hole, one under for the day. Ligich fall, faltering a little bit here on the back nine. Currently only uh, three under through 13. Still, one shot lead over Matt Harmon. And now setting up for the next par four hole. Number four is very interesting. It is a potentially drivable par four, but there is a huge bunker there in front of the green that prohibits most players from going at it. All good. Going with driver. I don't think he's aiming at the flag, though. Trying to go through the trees. And he's taking this one through some branches. And that is not what he wanted. And he's probably not happy with that. This is an awkward length here. Well, that shot's looking not too good. Yeah, it's just kind of an awkward shot. Didn't really know what he wanted to do there. And aired on the side of not leaving it in the bunker, short of the hole. Hoping to chip back up from behind the hole. Nasty lie. Oh. This is about a four footer. Well, oh, for a less than 300 yard par four, Alcott's going to walk away with a boat. And that cut the drops for Bogan. Very disappointing. And after that hole, uh, he's going to go up to even par. So with that, all good drops off the front page of the leaderboard. Still only three behind the glitch. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store for us. Let's see, hole number five. Medium length par four, but uh, split by that little creek. I think all good going with less than driver. Well, this one's looking like it's finding the fairway. That's a pretty popular play today, I would say. From about 135 yards out. Still, you never know with him. He has wedge in hand. He is a wizard with this club. Pitching wedge. Going with a pitching wedge here. Kind of hard to get at that pin. He runs into the false front, 
That's a poor effort from him. Well, this one's still quite far away, but it is definitely on the green. Big uphill putt here for Birdie. Up the hill. Oh, oh. good effort. I'll tell you what, he does have a complete game. He, uh... And uh, it's time to take a peek at the leaderboard. Yeah, we'll check the leaderboord, John. Uh, all well, does have the complete right game. He's going to stay right there at even par. After Currently at even par, yes, but all aspects of his game are there. He drives the ball well. He's a good iron player, very good wedge player, excellent putter, and a pretty good recovery uh, artist as well. And now we find ourselves on the sixth hole tee off. Number six, a slightly longer par four. Dead straight. Playing a bit of a crosswind today. And of course, you've got that lake there on the left as you get to the green. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. And about 175 yards to the pin. All good, taking measure here. About 173 to the pin. I'll go with six iron. And going with the six iron. He has hoisted that six iron in the air. Trying to get it to land soft on the top shelf there. That is a very well judged shot. And he is on. And this pot is for Birdie. To be makeable birdie chance here, only at nine feet to go. And he and just curls it in for a birdie. And he's moving on up on the leaderboard after that hole. Back into red figures here. Tie for fifth. And now teeing off on the par five. Well, number seven, as you can see, a long par five here, although playing slightly downwind. And all good coming off a of birdie, looking to go back to back. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. Two eighty five in. All good. I think going with driver here. Driver off the deck. I don't think he intends to get it onto the green, but maybe put himself in a good shot where he could have a uh, a nice little flop or chip or pitch or something to get the ball close. That's exactly what he has done. I think you'll like that. All right. Got a little sand wedge trying to open the face up and hit it close. Didn't quite get it back there, though. And this one's for Birdie. Another relatively makeable putt here. Only 14 feet, but playing uphill. Got to get it to the hole. This shot is looking too oh. good. Beautifully for done. For the birdie. Beautifully done from all good. And after that one, currently sitting at two under for the day. And is currently tied for second place on the leaderboard. So with that, he moves into a four-way tie for second. All good, Shelton, Harmon, and Gachuski. All at two under, two shots back in the age. Okay, we find ourselves now in the eighth hole tee off. Pretty good size par three here, the eighth hole, but fairly open, fairly flat green, pretty accessible for these pros. All good with four iron. He 
Is it a laser? This shot's looking pretty good. A laser. A little too strong, though. Well, that shot actually ended up in the rough. Little chip out here. Plenty of green to work with. I do believe he's trying to make. Oh, well judged. This one's about three feet from the cup. He'll clean up for his par. And he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard after that hole. And now setting up for the par four tee off. Last hole on the front nine here is a dog leg left, par four. You do have some choices to make, depending on whether or not you want to carry those bunkers, but I think Olga's going to elect to go with a three wood. In TPC Boston, not the most open course in the world, so course management is something to consider. And I am pretty sure he's going to like that. 135 yards to the pin. Now he hasn't been automatic with his wedges so far on the front nine, but we'll see if he can turn it Going around. with the pitching wedge here. With the pitching wedge here. I think he'd be happy with that. And he will like that. This one's about nine feet away. Oh, it'd be nice to cap off the front nine here with a birdie just outside the left edge. For the bird. And he poured that in with confidence, John. And as we move into the back nine here, Luke, I'm wondering if you could shed some light on what's been happening elsewhere on the leaderboard today. John, the lead is at four under, which is pretty impressive, but it's a score that can be beaten. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the front nine here of the first round of the East Coast Classic. As you can see, all good's gotten off to a fiery start. Only one shot back of Michael Gligich of Canada at four under. Make sure you guys check back again soon for the second half of the first round and see if all good can finish on top and get this tournament off to a good start again make you make sure you guys leave a like post your comments down below above all subscribe thank you guys so much for watching do appreciate it check back soon for some more sweet of the golf club 2019 gameplay this is the suburban ginger signing off reminding you as always to just keep swinging